I haven't posted in a while. I've been doing some homework and some other things, but uh, did want to keep posting these on a regular basis. If nothing else, that improves my skill and hopefully maybe somebody uh, learns something from all what, what I do and all my mistakes. Anyways, uh, thought I'd chart the boys' names in British Columbia for the last century. Found this file on databc.com, which lists every boy's names, all 1,754, I believe, over the last century. So I wanted to think about ways you could present this information to, to someone who's interested in this topic, for whatever reason. Uh, so it is a bit of a challenge, as I'll, you'll see in a minute, but I figured, well, there's always the traditional line chart, you know, just a classic distribution chart. And I was also thinking, I want to do something a little bit, you know, new age or, or newer, and thought an animated scatter or bubble chart in Excel PowerView might be interesting. So this is what the data looks like coming from source. Again, uh, very well formatted, no strange metadata issues to worry about. Just 1,700 names over 100 years. So obviously, um, a lot of data points and not easy to summarize them because essentially names don't summarize. So for the first chart, uh, I just transpose the data, flipping rows and columns using um, Excel paste special and transpose. Pretty basic to do that. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, there are plenty of YouTubes out there on that one. Having done that, it was no problem to uh, just throw up a pivot table and add a few names. So obviously I've limited the number of names that I'm going to look at in the chart because I don't think there's any other way you can look at it that data. Having done that, I just picked one of the uh, pre-formatted charts uh, that had a little bit better color. You end up with this information on the four names that I chose. Uh, Liam, Ethan, David, and John. Again, so you can kind of see how some names were very popular to begin with. John, they've tapered off. Others like David kind of had a big surge in mid-century. Now they're kind of not as popular. And interestingly, uh, Ethan and Liam are now very popular names. So this may be the part of the clip where the uh, real experts in handling data, particularly those who know how to do VBA and macros and stuff, will cringe. Because um, I'm sure there's a much more elegant way to do this. But since I only wanted to do just a couple of names, I just basically cut up the data and you know played with it a bit so that I've got the data in this format now. So that you've got name, year, number. That's much easier to deal with in a bubble chart. I found that trying to make a bubble chart with the data in its raw format, no matter which way I looked at it, it was just um, incredibly difficult to get the variables in the right boxes the way they have to be for a bubble chart. And for those unfamiliar with the uh, layout on the Power View page, basically here's the, up on the top, you're going to have just the, it looks kind of like a pivot table format, same thing. There's the table and the content and down below you are going to put things into the uh, various fields depending on how you want them to display. Obviously the big thing for a animated bubble chart is the play axis which tends to be a time dimension. So I admit after a little bit of trial and error which is probably the easiest way to do it just to sort of see how things work. Um, I've now got this table working. Of course I can use the filters here to just get down to one name if I choose. Um, and run the animation. So the size of the bubble is corresponding to the value on the axis. So in a sense, it's it's double reporting. Obviously, the higher up it is, the bigger it gets. Might be some ways to handle that. I haven't quite thought of any. The other thing that the chart can do, of course, is it can sort of do the contrails. So it can map and leave little tracks behind if you want to sort of see the uh, progress. Obviously if the chart's moving around a lot it's hard to remember exactly what happened over the years. So somewhat emulating what you saw in the line chart but just doing it in animation mode. Or I could switch on a few more names and you know track them. The if it's tracking trails it will pretty much mute the, the others so that they're not as visible. The focus is on the one. Of course, you can pause that. You can take the bar, go back at any time. Just to, if there's a particular point in time you're interested in. So it really comes down to why you're looking at this data in the first place. Would probably tell you how you would want to set it up. Of 
So, hope that helped. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave me a note, or if you have any suggestions on other tools, um, always open to that too. Cheers.